So coming from a place of perhaps re-evaluating how you've been presenting yourself in these love partnerships or in your love life and re-examining what exactly it is you're passionate about and what you can bring to the table, what excites you, what lights your fire. Um, these two men are looking at one another. And normally upright, the two, the two of wands would would signify moving forward with passion on plans and taking initial steps into projects, but in reverse, you're taking a step back and re reevaluating what you want your next steps to be. So, because with the Eight of Swords, a clarifier, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Perhaps you're feeling like coming out of January <clears throat> or having gone through January, your approach wasn't getting you to the ultimate destination of how you want to feel. And recognizing that it's an internal process, like your perspective and, and what you're putting out into the world and in your partnerships or in the dating world um, is a direct reflection as to what's showing up. What comes to mind is as above, so below, and as within, so without. So we create our own realities, and if you've been coming from a place of despair or hopelessness or feeling stuck, then this and this, Nine of Cups moving into Ten of Cups, would not have been apparent in your love life or in your dating worlds, in your, your coupledom. So it seems like you've been in a process of re-evaluation re as to how you're approaching your love life and really taking a deep and honest look as to how you're presenting yourself and the words that you speak, are they reflecting what is truly in your heart and really getting clear on what you're sharing with the other and wanting it to be concise and truthful and honest and clear so that the other person can understand you as best as another person could. I hope that made sense. I'm going to move on to the February energy. So this is the energies that you're coming out of. So we're moving into February here. So you have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Emperor in reverse. Well, some clarifiers. Okay, firstly... Ace of Cups with the Knight of Swords. Perhaps there's an air sign, male or female, um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius is air. Coming in February. Oops, <laughs> hard and fast. Hard and fast. Yeah, yeah. He's he's not really looking where he's going, but. He's, he's having his eye on the prize, or perhaps this is you even. Um, I feel like it's an outside person, though, um, approaching you with their idea of love and their emotional abundance and wanting to give to you from a place of wholeness. And that's great, because here with the six of swords and the seven of cups in reverse in February you're you're going to be presented with many options and perhaps the confusion that was there in the past is going to be cleared up and you're going to pick one of those cups here that he has all of the options the six of swords is moving on to better horizons and these people didn't really have 
very much time to pack or leave for their journey. They just sort of hopped in their boat and here we go. And I almost feel like these two men are the same people. This male or female air sign rushing in and there are the swords again, um, taking you into a consolidated one of these cups is the big one that's full here. Because you, you're coming into February with a more clear vision of how you want your love life to go. And again, whether that's in both coupledom or singlehood. And then the Emperor and the Page of Wands, both in reverse. So I feel like this person is going to meet you at the level that you've attained in January. And from here, it's almost like these two positions, the cards are reverse, opposite one another. Um, and not in the old way, because you're leaving, you're leaving that way behind the way that you've approached relationships, perhaps maybe in not so much of a mature way. It's being flipped on its head and it, not feeling like it's controlling you anymore, perhaps in the way that it has. So this is going to be a process throughout the month of February, which I think is lovely. I'm going to move on to the energies moving into March. So once we get to the end of February, you have the moon in reverse, the two of cups in reverse, and the ten of pentacles. <clears throat> Here we go. This is so fun, you guys. I'm so happy you're here. There's that guy again. Here he comes. He's figuring it out for sure. Towards the end of February, um, the way that he's reevaluated the passion in his life and the projects that he wants to endeavor in with his romantic interests whether they be new, which I feel like there is a new person coming in for you single Pisces. And if you're coupled, a new renewed sense of working on projects together and putting them out into the world as building your legacy and you feeling confident in that direction. Let me back up here to go to the star and the moon in reverse. So... Yeah, you, you will be feeling solid and clear as to how you're feeling comfortable in your own skin and what you have to offer and what you can bring to these relationships or your dating world from a place of clarity and abundance and having gone through the psychological process of uncovering from your subconscious from up here. <clears throat> and perhaps being presented with this new offer of love, it's going to make you feel like a star. And you're not going to be questioning that. It's going to feel really good. And the Hermit in reverse with the Two of Cups, um, perhaps going really diving in deep with each other and not have it feeling like you have to do it alone. Um, and understanding that, that both of you have been through a lot and it hasn't worked out in the past and you're grateful for that. And now you see why, because this is coming in, this is coming in. Yay. I love the town of pentacles and the three of wands is great. Meaning that as you're moving out of February into the energies of March, you're going to have some new projects that you're passionate about, perhaps you've already begun working on them towards the end of February with your new love interest or the renewed passion in your current relationship. And it's going to make you feel extremely abundant and grateful and thankful uh, for all that you have in your life. I hope that made sense. I'm going to pull for you an additional card out of the Wild Kuan Yin or Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild. This is a little guidebook. 
for some additional information for you Pisces. Overall, it looks like a great month. I'm curious to hear from you who that Knight of Swords is for you that comes rushing in the beginning of February. I'm recording this on January 22nd, so I'm a little early. And, but I believe that energies can meld and timelines for each individual, of course, is going to be different based on your astrological chart. The slave dances into freedom, number 21. I'm going to read out of Alana Fairchild's book for you. Looks like she's passing some sort of currency up to these people. Number 21. You have been on a path that no longer serves your highest good. The time has come for you to be free from it. I shall free you from the negative influence of even the most persistent struggle or devastating conditions with one simple gesture. Do not be attached to the war you have endured, my beloved wild warrior. It is over by my grace. A new reality of freedom is yours. It is time to dance your way into freedom. Yes, that is definitely speaking to these energies that you may be experiencing now, moving into this sense of freedom in your love life, for your love, for your love for yourself and the world. I, I feel like it's going to be reignited in the month of February for you. And you're going to be very pleased and happy about that. So embrace it. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>